Alright, what's up everybody? I'm back with another mod, as usual, and this time it is the Humans mod. Um, this one is going to be a difficult tutorial for some people. Um, it's not that easy to install, there's a lot of steps. So let me go ahead and show you it first. Let's go ahead and go single player. Alright, so as you can see, it just adds a whole bunch of people. Um, that's supposed to be Harrowbrine. And uh, there's pirates and stuff that it'll add, and they'll, they'll be like fishing and stuff. And you'll see that they talk to each other too. Like they'll, if they're about to get in a fight or something. Um, usually the knights will fight the um, samurais. So if we go ahead and hit T and then do spawn list. Oops. You can see it gives you a wanderer, a rogue, a bandit, a rogue archer, a settler, a settler, a samurai, assassin, a lost miner, and it gives you an elf, a shadow, um, a hunter, Harrowbrine, a pirate, a mob horse, a knight, and that's it for what it gives you. So also it gives you things for your inventory. So if I go ahead and go over here, um, this is an alignment checker. Uh, this, it gives you a cookie that just gives you health. These hearts, you can't um, actually pick these hearts up, but when you, um, whenever they're dropped, you can just walk over them and pick them up, and then they'll restore one of your hearts. This is a hidden blade. It's really strong. Yeah, I see her samurai. I am undefeated, unlucky knight. So the so that means there's a samurai and a knight fighting somewhere nearby. Now for the alignment checker, um, you just take it out and left click it. My alignment is 50. I haven't really done anything with them yet, but uh, you can fight them and they will pretty much hate you and they will all start to kill you. So you do not want to do that. If the one thing you do want to do though, if um, the ones that are rogue, they'll just attack you out of nowhere. So if they start attacking you, attack them back, and then your alignment will go even higher, and then um, you'll be more friendly with them. I'm pretty sure you can hire assassins to uh, follow you around and help you kill things. At the night, they pretty much control everything at night like they'll just kill all the spiders and creepers and skeletons and all that bad stuff so you'll be pretty good at night just to free roam around so that's pretty much it for the mod I mean I know there's a whole bunch of uh, other stuff that they're able to do I'm just not not quite sure of all of it I don't have it all like memorized what they can do so yeah I will go ahead and show you how to install it now. Alright, I will be back. I'm going to clean out my um, jar file and everything so I can cleanly install this and show you step by step on how to do this. So I will be back. Alright, so I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this now. Um, I'm going to go from easiest to hardest on how to install these. Uh, mod loader is definitely the easiest to install, so let me go ahead and show you how to install that first. So you're going to go ahead and go and hit start, and then type in run, and click on run, and then type in percent app data percent, just like that. Hit OK. Now you're going to go in your Minecraft. Open that up. 
and um, you are going to need WinRAR to do this or any sort of other archiving program okay so first off you're going to go into your bin let's go ahead and just left click no, click on this and then left click hit open with WinRAR Archiever make sure it's just your Minecraft jar alright so now I'm going to toss this over here you can go ahead and close this um, drag these over here alright okay never mind alright so mod loader we'll do the mod loader first this one's super easy just highlight all these classes and drag them into here hit OK alright we're done with mod loader mod loader is done now for audio mod go ahead and open this up and drag it over here and take this IBXM folder and just drag it in hit OK and there you go it added your IBMX folder um, open up Paul's code and then open up sound and then open up codex and then again on this one open up Paul's code open up sound and then open up codex and drag this drag this codec I, IBXM class into here hit OK there you go hit up up I don't remember if I said this or not, but drag this TM class into here. Okay. So you're done with that. Audio load, audio mod is done. All right. So now here comes the kind of hard part. You can do the humans first, since we're already ha we already have the Minecraft jar open we're going to do files to inject to minecraft.jar so what you're going to do is you're going to take the humans plus folder and just drag it in here hit ok and there you go it added humans plus now you're going to go ahead and click on top of this a quick tip to highlight everything is if you just click on the first one and then hold shift make sure you're holding shift and then you scroll down and then click on the last one and it'll highlight them all just drag these classes over here into these classes. All right. Okay, so now you can go ahead and close that and then open back your dot minecraft. And this is going to we're going to do files to add to resources. So if we hit back and go into resources and then add to resources just take this folder called mod and drag it in here and then now we're going to go ahead and hit back and where it just shows bin resources saves texture packs last login and then we're going to drag the humans plus into there and there you go you're done with that so that's pretty much it that's all you have to do um, it is sorry if I confuse you with stuff in this but um, it's there's a lot of steps so um, make sure you have like a um, I have a backup for minecraft I always back up my uh, dot minecraft folder I probably should have told you to do that before you started but if anything goes wrong there is an easy fix if you get a black screen or anything just go back into your dot minecraft folder and delete this bin delete this folder called bin and restart your minecraft and it'll be all good again just remember that if you get a black screen delete the bin folder and restart minecraft and it'll fix it so that is it um, you're done you should be able to go into minecraft and play with humans plus and uh yeah so that's it thank you for watching